Hey guys, it's your boy V back with more Mahal Future Fight content. Why are we playing Corvus Glaive? Why is this video about Corvus Glaive? Because I have, I think I've said that, said it a million times that I, I hate Corvus. <laughs> I hate Corvus. I mean, I used to like him, but ever since they added those uh, Odin's blessings, and uh, Corvus was the one that used to actually give the heal Odin's blessings, and <laughs> I, I would actually I stopped playing after a while. Once I got like a few, I think four, four, six total Odin's blessings for my Thanos and my Jean. Actually, eight in total, but I never actually used all of them. So ever since I got them, I stopped. I just stopped playing Corvus Glaive, but. What exactly happened that I started it again? <laughs> I'm playing it right now. And the only reason is actually Null. Uh, because, yeah, they did an amazing job uh, making Null unplayable for at least uh, 10 days, I guess. <laughs> like, I think we have 10 or 9 days. 5 of the Black Order, and then we have Cable, Apocalypse, a Quicksilver, and then who else? I am, yeah, Scarlet Witch. Uh, I guess, yeah, so about 9 to 10 days to unlock uh, Null if you don't spend the crystals and I am not someone who will tell you to spend the crystal because that is uh, uh, just an idiotic move. Like, literally, it is an idiotic move. I know, people want to play, but spending in, in the amount of crystals that you need, it's not the normal. It's not the normal amount that you will actually find. Uh, like, if you compare it to the other bosses, that have exactly the same requirements even if they have like 10 requirements that are, that are actually remaining to complete it will still cost you less crystals than actually that of the null and i do think that that was a bullshit move uh, that was a really really bad move uh, in terms of along with these things that uh, have uh, that actually this update has like i know and uh, yeah first of all i forgot to apologize for not posting any videos i was actually ha having some trouble uh, with my phone that I'm uh, using right now and hopefully I will be able to get a new phone really soon so that I can uh, the videos won't be delayed the it will be regular content for you guys and I really hate that sometimes I have to take my own time to get it done but I think hopefully we should be moving to the second phase now good we are moving to the second phase and why am I not using the 100% all defense down stuff? Why am, am I not using maybe uh, what was his name? Sentinel's uniform. I Nimrod. Yeah, sorry. I forgot. Nimrod. Why am I not using? Because I just wanted to test out if this uh, uh, this this the uh, this team up that we I used to use like uh, way way long when he, when I used to play Corvus. I used to use this team up and Sharon Rogers was one of my best characters, one of my favorite characters uh, of all time as well to do this stuff. It was pretty nice. I must say the the time was really amazing. We did not have this Star Knight uniform. It used to be the Star Dark Star uniform, sorry. So it used to be really good, and then this uniform came out, became a really good uniform for that, and of course is one of the best uniforms in the game that you can get on a character. Even after having like Dark Star uniform is not bad. It's a really good uniform for a character like Sharon Rogers, who has always been a PVE powerhouse. She has never been. She has never been a meta for PvP. She has always been a PV PvE powerhouse that can actually cut down ABXs for you. That used to be the best ABX character that could store. Uh, nobody could score more than uh, more than Sharon Rogers, uh, of course, before Luna came out. Then Luna actually became the best after that all the all the time. But she has always been the best. And still, the Star Knight uniform. I think still, I would say like it's it has been a long time since the Star Knight uniform, right? It has been a long time. But I think. It still is an amazing uniform and I would definitely suggest you guys buying this uniform whenever you get time, get your crystals, get your uh, stuff holding up. But we still have six more bars to finish right now and it is not looking really good but actually five bars remaining. Although I'm running 100% all defense down with all those strikers and I am running a CTP of energy that gives me a certain good amount of uh, CTP of uh, energy, ignore dodge as well. So I think we should be able to finish, I'm not sure. I think we should be able to finish him with this tier 3 skill and boom! Nice! A minute and 12 seconds remaining. It could have been faster. Of course, Corvus is really really hard uh, to judge and do stuff with. The second run, let's move on to the second run which is gonna be Reed Richards leadership his own which gives himself 65% of damage. 
And along with him, we have Doctor Strange for the all defense down with the tier 3 skill. And then we have Weapon Hex. So you need to have Weapon Hex for this to work. Again, I am also running CDP of Energy on Reed Richards, which I have it for a long, long time. So I'm going to, uh, the first thing, the main motto of this is to just charge the tier 3 skill up as fast as possible. Uh, go with your Reed Richards. Don't really just go and swap and try to, I think we should be, yeah, we have it. Let's switch to Doctor Strange now. And then we'll go for the rotation. Five, three, uh, five then 432 432 432 unless i think i'm gonna wait a little bit <coughs> i just went there because i did not want to uh, hydra cap to come out and then cancel the tier 3 skill right there fourth skill cancel four cancel tier 3 four registers we did not get the proc but when we got the proc we almost finished him uh definitely if the proc was a little bit earlier uh it, have, it would have came a little bit earlier we could have actually finished him and i think we i think i can I can actually switch to Reed Richards, but I think I can finish it with Doc Strange as well. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it again. So we'll go here. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. I think I switched. Uh, I switched to. I switched uh, from Reed Richards to Doc Strange a little earlier, I guess. That was bad. So yeah, <laughs> it, uh, just take into consideration about 20 to 25 seconds more. Uh, actually early for the clear that I'm gonna be showing you right now because yeah, that was a really bad move from my side I totally messed it up and I think I can finish it with my Doc Strange uh, This does not look really good because we are not running in leadership for Doc Strange I think we should be able to finish him right now for the first phase and here we go come on No, man. Come on do it Wow Wow, okay, okay, the first phase is gone. Finally, that, that was really bad. It ca could have been much more faster, much, much more faster, but we are actually gonna be doing that because we have the tier 3 skill loaded up, charged up, and we can go tier 3 skill, switch to hacks, and then fourth skill, four cancel, tier 3, and then look at the damage. Look at the damage, oh my God, oh my God. Almost one shot. So I have 60% of uh, physical attack, my Reed Richards has uh, really less, like, really cr not, not not even a crazy build, I, I should say. I'm not even sure if the uniform is mythic, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not really sure. But again, this is a really basic build that I have for Reed Richards, but he can do really crazy amount of damage, and I like using this team. I use it for Proxima uh, Ultimate as well. I think we need to do a f few things here and there. And then let's go and charge up that uh, tier 3 skill. We have to charge up that tier 3 skill and then switch to weapon X, use the fourth skill. And I think, okay, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I should have, ah, that was bad. I could have actually, I should have actually used four cancel tier 3. So always try to use your tier 3 for registers with either four cancel tier 3 or three cancel tier 3 there is a reason for that and the reason is pretty simple the fourth skill actually gives you a frenzy buff i think that's a frenzy buff and not the regular buff i guess which gives you some attack speed some uh, attack as well and i think critical rate if i'm not wrong and then the third skill also you can use if there is like the uh, the poison plums if there are there are the poison plums you can actually use them uh, to actually use the third skill, cancel into the theater skill because it, uh, third skill actually has damage accumulation based on the damage taken. So it will actually help out your damage uh, quite a bit. Let's go for the third one that we are actually running, Beta Ray Bill. Oh boy. And my Beta Ray Bill, of course, uh, I've shown you multiple times uh, whenever I do stuff with Beta Ray Bill. Uh, even on that 6.2 or 6.3 million video that I did earlier, uh, actually a while back for the Universal Hero ABX, I'm still running the critical damage, lightning damage, 180% damage proc obelisks. The normal obelisks, no CDPE of energy or anything like that. The only reason was that I did not have a CDP of energy to give him. <laughs> so we'll go for the co-op 4356 and then I think I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna switch. The reason, why did I switch? Why didn't I just let it go? We need to have, we need to, I want to use the 100% all defense down from Hex three times. And the fact is that from the striker system that is going on right now, every single time Weapon X comes and applies that all defense down, the timer for that, that uh, defense down will come down one second. So the base is one, uh, five seconds. Now it's going to apply for four seconds. And I think it should be good for us to 
go again and i think we should be finishing him okay second time so we have third time remaining and that is the only time that you are really gonna see some damage in because it is actually gonna be a three seconds of all defense down so we need to get that all damage on the same spot with the three uh, with the three seconds and we need to time it really really well because if we miss it right now we're gonna miss it and i've uh, actually i done that i think i did that on the ebony stage 99 video if you guys remember i did the nova team up and i did the 100 person all defense down twice and we actually two shot at them you can do that you can actually one shot him as well so let's, let's go try go up four five three six and there we go we have it nice so yeah that is the three shots that you want to uh, do with your better able of course if you have a better cdb of like if you have a cdb of energy or rage or judgment no matter what you are running although i don't suggest giving him a rage cdb of energy is enough if you are running those cdps you will get much more damage out of it and probably possibly you can actually two shot him one for the first phase second for the uh the second for the second phase and I really like to actually save of them. Now, the fourth run that we have is actually Mystique, which is actually running a CTB of Rage, which I've shown you a couple of times when I'm running the ABX videos that I am actually running six Odin's Blessing on her. Three, six, uh, sorry, three, four, six for the critical damage and that. And then he's going to go there. And then I think we can do some good amount of damage before the purple comes up. Try to not get hit by the purple at all. If you get hit by the purple, no matter what character you have, you're pretty much dead. There is like a huge, huge chances that you will be dead no matter how crazy dodge you have. Sometimes with some characters like, of course, some of you guys might be thinking, why didn't I use Quicksilver? Yeah, my Quicksilver is not built at all. <laughs> he does not have the new age uniform, which is definitely the best to deal damage. Although the, the I think the Marvel Legacy uniform i guess that was the marvel legacy uniform or i don't remember the name of the blue the yeah i guess i guess it was yeah it was the marvel legacy uniform yeah so the marvel legacy uniform is good i don't mind and I don't, i'm not saying that it is, it is not good but depending on your build i have tried sometimes uh, my corvus i have not played corvus for a long long times so i'm still not sure if how high my quicksilver can do i might actually make a separate video out of, out of it because i am still running uh, i think critical damage or sorry critical rate uh, uh 200 uh two, not even 200 percent i guess i think 180 or 200 percent right 180 or 200 percent damage proc and yeah half of the uh, six kill got wasted there but i think we need to wait 20 more seconds to go and i think then we can finish it and the only reason that i'm that i'm saying right now if you have played corvus corvus is super super vulnerable and super super weak on the second phase like go bars go down really really fast and you will see your 100 percent all defense down with more actually look like <laughs> 200% defense down because the bars go really quickly uh, to the ground and then we can actually switch to mystique right here I guess oh yeah okay, let's go and switch to mystique right there and then we'll use three cancel four cancel six right there three cancel four cancel six and one yeah you can see the damage and I'm not gonna cancel it it can finish it yeah it finished it only the six kill actually finishes it and the only reason why i did not actually use four cancel five on anything because that would actually give corvus more chances to go into another iframe the last but not the least we have stage 89 with uh what was his name jessica jones not jessica jones wait a minute i forgot i forgot the name of the character dude how can i do that that's that's not good i mean yeah sorry sorry daisy johnson yeah <laughs> Right. yeah daisy johnson daisy johnson so you need to have daisy johnson in your team in order to clear that in unless you want to use crystals because she's a requirement deadpool or mystique both are amazing options for doing that i think the defense down applied but oh yeah good 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 he's gonna go for the second one okay he did not because i think we interrupted the second uh the phase as well which was pretty nice. We're doing good damage, even though we don't have any uh, any of that support for that, which is pretty nice. And then we, okay, this was not applied. This was not applied well. And I think the only reason this is not applied was actually he has the frenzy buff on. I did not pay attention to it, but just like Proxima, Cor uh, Corvus also has a frenzy buff. When he has the frenzy buff active, it will be a muscular man showing the arms, <laughs> kind of like sign. So if he has that, uh, at the time you're the all defense down will not apply and it has happened to me before as well when i was running proxima uh, world boss ultimate which is one of the well one of my favorites actually proxima is pretty nice right 
So yeah, drop me a comment. What is your favorite uh, World Boss Ultimate? Uh, World Boss Ultimate boss to play with. I know a lot of not a lot of people like the mutant bosses. I also hate that. And the soul, wow, that was some some good damage. Although the soul purpose, the like like the soul reason, the main reason why I don't like the mutant bosses is just the cap, the cap on the materials. Like you can play all day. You can play five. I would be missing a lot like tons of black antimatter or chaos nonsense if i choose to run uh the x-men was on a daily basis but we'll see how it goes hopefully they uh, increase the cap or just remove the cap man i mean who cares just remove the cap we don't have the cap for black antimatter or that and that's pretty good so let me know these were my five clears playing covers after almost an year or something i think in and a half <laughs> so let me know what you think about the video it was fun playing covers again and as always if you like the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one see ya bye, -bye.